morning everyone. Morning. So we're in Ketchikan, Alaska this morning and Ketchikan is known as the first city and that's not because it was the first city of Alaska. Nope. That's because it's normally the first city that you go to as you're cruising north of Alaska. Yes. Even though it wasn't for us, it was the last. Yeah. Confusing, I know. That's because we went <laughs> up north to come back down. Yeah, we went up north to come down, <laughs> but if you were traveling north of Alaska, you'd reach Ketchikan first. Yes, this is our <laughs> last port. Yes. But, uh, we're not doing like a specific trip today. We wanted one day where we just have a look around and we thought that Ketchikan mm -hmm. was the best place for that. It seems like it's got more here without having to do a trip. Yeah, there's a lot of history here. Yes. There's, there is a lot of tours from here, lots of tours, so don't worry that there's no tours. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> and similarly, if you've watched some of our other videos, you know that we collect the Starbucks mugs. There is a Starbucks approximately a mile up that way. It's yes. a, It's inside of like a, a shopping center, like a, a supermarket. So we're going to try and find this free shuttle that takes us up that way before we go into Ketchikan. We've got to get that Alaska mug. Yeah, the only other place was Juneau, but that was really hard to get to. That was miles out at another um, supermarket and there was no way really to get there. No. Especially with, if you watch that video, really running over our time on the boat tour. So weather-wise, as you can see, I've just popped my hood up because it is a bit drizzly. It is a bit grey and cloudy. Now what I will point out is yesterday when we were checking the weather for Ketchikan, it wasn't showing this high of a, a percentage chance of rain. No. So weather-wise, it, it can be so unpredictable. You just get what you get on the forest. day. Yeah. You might yeah. not believe it, but in Alaska, it's just <laughs> rainforest, so it changes on a yeah don't like think, that. don't think that the day before that oh it seems okay it could still rain yeah. on the day hence why i've just put the hood up but hence we need <laughs> to get this buzz and i think it comes soon i checked it on google maps so just have a look on there it's the orange downtown shuttle bus yeah that's what we're going to get to the starbucks so let's go Right, so there's our ship, the Discovery Princess. Just as you get off, and I'm guessing it will be the same for all of them. There's lots of vendors here, so don't worry if you didn't book any excursions. They do loads, they do fishing trips, uh, wildlife hikes, boat trips, all different ones, they've got them here. But uh, we are, uh, there's four berths for the ships. So we are a little bit out, it's only a walk, it's not too far. But uh, just beware that there are four berths. I think we are berth number three, and I think this one there's two, one, and there's one behind us as well. But it looks like there's a celebrity ship in just there as well. So I was just reading some facts on the information board about Ketchikan, and it's actually known as the salmon capital of the world. So obviously we knew that a lot of salmon came from Alaska, but Ketchikan specifically. Right, so we got off the buzz. He just says the bus, okay? So and he says it's the free shuttle and they are every 10 minutes from downtown to here, which is the Plaza Mall. It was literally just opposite where our ship docked in, but as we got there, one came quickly, so we jumped on it. It's just really yeah. easy. Just check Google Maps and click on the little, like uh, the bus icon at the top and it tells you all the stops and it was spot on there. But we saw the Starbucks and it's around this corner somewhere. So if like us, you collect the Starbucks mugs or I don't know, you, you fancy a Starbucks coffee, you're desperate that coffee. for, like say, it's only a mile away, you're craving a Starbucks coffee. Or, we met an American tourist yesterday and she also collects these Starbucks mugs like us. So that was a mutual weirdness we both shared, I guess. <laughs> uh, so she also collects them, but she said that she had to get a taxi to here because she was told that there was no walkable paths for you to get here so that she had to pay for a taxi. But that's not true. It could, it, it would be walkable. It was, it was yeah, like, it was I think fine. Google was saying it was a 15 minute walk. Yeah, there was loads of pavements and walkways, so it wasn't like it. She said it, she was told it was industrial and that we couldn't walk down it. That's not true though, no. you could. Yeah. So, right, let's go on. Honestly, if they haven't got these mugs. Oh, fingers crossed they've got them. It's going to cost us about 80 pounds off eBay. <laughs> it is inside of a supermarket oh, like somewhere, a bit like the Targets. So there, it will be somewhere. Oh, Stacey's seen it. Oh God, please, please, please. Oh no, they haven't got any. This is all the ones that they've got. Oh no, there's not enough Starbucks to stand anywhere. Oh, got it. <laughs> we got it. They've got loads in as well. They've got the little one as well, if you do collect the espresso cup ones. 
Oh, but that looks so cool. It's probably one of the cheapest ones we've had as well. Yeah, it's like twelve ninety five USD. That's a lot cheaper than the one we brought in Vancouver. The little ones were nine ninety five. Yeah. But if you're, you may as well have the big one. But then if you obviously want the small one for like storage purposes, you yeah. haven't got the room for a big one, then well, you, you could get the small use them, one. Because they come with a little tie on the side. You could use them as Christmas ornaments if you've got a sturdy tree. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy now, oh, Kev? So happy. And you. Don't blame the act, it's all me. It's you we as actually, well. Can we actually go see some of Alaska now? Yeah, do you want a coffee? Yeah. Oh, they've got cold brews. I'll have a cold brew. It was too cold for cold brew. Right, so Stacy's just waiting for her coffee, and as I ordered it and paid for the uh, mug, all I heard was, ooh, she was just pining over this huge selection of cakes that, uh, it seems like you can't go to an American supermarket without a massive selection of cakes we'd be lucky to get like one of these full of cakes back home but look there's another one there there's another one there there's another one there there's a fridge over there there's more bakery over there there's fresh cakes over there oh and there's a load more starbucks there so if they haven't got them over there check on the cakes see i told you she was pining over these cakes look at that i love cinnamon buns look at them oh we're just 6 99 as well for all them but we're gonna go now because we've come all the way to alaska and we're, we're excited about an american supermarket they are amazing though but i want possibly a cake i've got a coffee i want a proper dr pepper as well there's nothing like a proper dr pepper in the states and i know kev's going to want a grape soda oh definitely so let's find them one. and go see alaska catch you can mug gotten dr pepper's got it. i had a uh, mountain dew because they had no uh, grape sodas but there's a bus here we're going to try and get it quick we didn't have a key we're saving ourselves right so we just got off now this is not the end of the loop so obviously our ship is here the celebrity is here there is a third ship you can't see it because of this trading company shop the uh, holland america is in but we just got off here because uh, we thought we'd walk down now it does carry on further that way but then just loops around all the way back up to the mall that way yeah, so we may as well get off here and have a little walk a little bit. Yeah. The buildings just look like so cool. Looks, it sounds daft, but it looks like a film set. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, is this one of those off-road buses? Like that goes in the water? Oh, no way. Oh yeah, amphibious tours. So if you're interested in that, have a look at Googling that one. Yeah, so like they said, it does look like a film set. It's, uh, it reminds us of the Universal Studios Hollywood Backlot Tour a little bit like them old westerny buildings that's what they're all like all the way down and when we say a film set i know if you're american you're probably used to these style buildings but to us brits we don't have anything like this so to us it is like what we see in the movies so if you're thinking like it doesn't look like a film set film sets are based on this you know what we mean so a lot of these we aren't we're not even past the cruise ships yet there's a lot of gift shops there's a lot of jewelry and diamond shops i don't know if that's a big thing so we've just popped in one of the gift shops and kev said to me do you need any more souvenirs and i went well and then i went for a look somewhere and he shouted me over and he went stay stay would you like this you could use it you know to put something in and i was like mm, why is he saying that what's the catch he's got like salmon in it <laughs> yeah but for like it comes with some salmon some smoked salmon right comes in this little wooden box with the design on it it's a hinged lid and it's 20 dollars so i've got to have the box and you're having the salmon you've got to have it i could just buy salmon no i, want the, I want the box yeah so we didn't buy him because we thought well we might as well buy him on the way back actually so he's carrying him around because we've already got this starbucks cup in one of the bags my bag's full of stuff so we'll get him on the way back but look loads of like gold shops more gift shops so yeah i know they did come up here like in the 1800s and like panned for gold and all that stuff so maybe that's why there's a lot of gold shops maybe it's like pure alaskan gold well not pure obviously because that costs a lot of money maybe it's just alaskan gold maybe if you want to try some alaskan king crab there's a king crab restaurant up there <laughs> maybe if you just want some good old fish and chips that little green booth does fish and chips as well right so we've just come past this uh, gold nuggets express little shop it's across the road from the Alaskan King Crab Company that we showed you. We walked past and they've got these Starbucks cups in the window just We're round just the there. corner. <laughs> I'll uh, pan down and show you. They are 24 95 They've got a lot of them, but for a, a five minute free shuttle up the road, just go up the road. 
and they also had the little box what I showed you what's uh, I'm conning Stacy into buying so she can have it as a jewelry box is actually seven dollars cheaper in here so shop around don't just get them straight off the ship i'm we've, glad we did now we've never seen starbucks cups sold anywhere other than starbucks no. but obviously they're buying them in bulk and then doubling the yes. prices aren't they so if you're desperate for one but for the easy buzz journey that you took to yeah. just go a mile up the road and you're saving half the money okay yeah. no more gift shops after this <laughs> a half promise but stacy's just been rummaging through and she's just seen this like spirit jersey style one that's really cool actually yes yeah, so you know like the disney ones you can get you get like like universal and things like that i think everywhere does like a spirit jersey now yeah, it's really coming don't on me. now isn't it but it's yeah really nice it's in the sale as well for 25 dollars i'm gonna say euros then 25 dollars so i think i'm gonna get that okay so we're now just at the end of like the boardwalky part at the front where the harbor is just to point out there is like a little map signs about but yeah, there's maps everywhere that tells you um, what's where. I think we are not too far away from the lumberjack like show place where you can watch lumberjacks chopping wood and all the bits that they do. It, it did look really fun and we were contemplating doing it, but I think we just wanted to explore catch a can a bit more, didn't we? Yeah, just have a bit of a mooch around day. Because in the other two ports we did trips for them and then we didn't get much time to look around that area so with catch a can we were like we knew there was a bit more here so we were like no we're gonna explore that but the lumberjack does look fun and let us know if you have done it and it's 40 dollars each by the way for like an hour and 15 minutes show yes yeah right so we were literally round the corner now from where we were saying that there's a lumberjack show it's here you can see that must be like the poles that they like run up i can hear one going on now i know they do like the balancing on water on the poles bit and they run up there it looks a fun show so we you know you haven't got to book it you could try and see if you can get it on the day as well at the door so just to point out the red and black kind of checkered pattern is everywhere so it's like the lumberjack shirts but I've, i'm guessing it's it's pretty much all we've only just seen a blue one that's the first time we've seen a different color but they're all red and black i brought one of these by mistake well not by mistake i didn't know that it was like known for the lumberjacks i don't know if it's just the alaskan lumberjack colors or what so every time kev's worn his shirt on the ship he's like oh hey lumberjack or love the shirt and it's like yeah oh i think you knew about it you did it on purpose didn't you no no honestly, we didn't, didn't. know <laughs> right so we are contemplating doing this lumberjack show now there's four shows a day uh every like two hours i think at the moment it was 9 11 1 and 3 show runs about an hour and 15 minutes it's 37.95 plus tax so it's roughly the same price as what we would have paid with princess i was going to say they should charge the same price on the ships because you don't need any transportation it's literally no. a five ten minute walk from the ship Max. so yeah so roughly about 40 dollars and with there tax. is still seats available for the shows we have asked so we're going to have a mooch around and then probably watch the show i think we're going to buckle it'll probably be quite fun yeah so if you watched our Sitka Alaskan video, you'll know that Kev absolutely loves totem poles. I mean, I like looking at them, but Kev, like, you really like knowing what each symbol represents. Yeah, so You're I like the symbolism. It, and, you? Yeah, you really I like, like it. it. And I did read that Ketchikan has the biggest collection of totem poles. There is a couple of parks. It's not walkable. Um, I know one definitely isn't. I'm not sure about the other one. I think the one that's got most of them is further out. That's more of an a excursion kind of yeah, trip. Yeah, so you can, can have a look over there. But we did see a nice selection in Sitka as well. But yeah, these greats, if you know about the history of them and things like that, they are actually interesting. Right, so there's a sign here by the Discovery Centre for Tongass National Forest. I hope we're saying that properly, but Stacy did some research and it is. So it's the largest national forest in the United States of America. See, I don't just, you know, get information about food. I do get facts like that as well. There is some totem poles dotted about. There's one here and this is called Whale Park, even though these look like dolphin benches and it's a very small park. So this pole here, you've got a brown bear at the bottom got a thunderbird in the middle and then you've got a crane on top but what they say is that the one at the bottom is the most important <laughs> so in this whale park we haven't seen them anywhere else they just look normal ones but they've got these really cool like trash cans that are like tins of salmon 
So this tone pole here, so it's very tall, so we'll do it in sections. At the bottom, you've got the fog woman holding salmon. Then above, you've got the raven. Then above that, you've got the raven slaves. And then uh, there's a big space before you get to the next one. And the space symbolizes the lofty habitat and high regard in which the crest is held. So at the top there, you've got the Kajuk, which is the house crest of the Chief Johnson's clan. And there's a story of the bird of long ago said to amuse itself by dropping stones that would become talismans, bringing a lifetime of good fortune to those lucky enough to acquire a stone. So I also read the symbol at the bottom of the pole holds the most importance. Where, whereas you think it was the symbol at the top, it's actually the symbol at the bottom that is the most important. Right, so we're just about to go on Creek Street now. As you can see, all of the buildings are built on top, on stilts, over the creek. That is because it was too expensive to blast away at the rocks, so it was a cheaper option for them to build these properties. Right, okay, so this used to be, it's not now, don't worry, this used to be a uh, the red light district so a lot of these houses were um you know what i mean i don't have to spell it out for you but it's a very narrow boardwalk so we will have to keep stopping starting uh i think you can pay for like tours like this is dolly's house where both men and salmon came upstream to spawn i like that that's quite funny actually and i believe you can pay for a tour in there it's gonna be a pg tour okay don't don't get too wild. So this one building used to be called Preacher's House. It's now the Captain's Ladies Boutique and Gifts. And uh, the sign, I think most houses have got a sign telling you a bit of history about them. This was first built in 1903 and is the oldest on the boardwalk. And I would just like to point out Stacey did not leave this kind of Dr. Pepper. All right, so it is $10 for a tour of Dolly's house. So a lot of them now are just, it seems they're all just shops. You've got a Nibblix General Store, got perfect partners alaskan gold and australian opal that one's a bit weird so this is 20 creek street this was home to the last working woman called beatrice green she <laughs> officially retired in 1954 when authorities stopped a uh, prostitution on this street but uh, she went underground so we don't know when she actually retired so we've just seen a sign on the front door this is actually somebody's home so it's a bit of a busy place to live because there's thousands of people walking up and down here all day i'm trying to walk backwards because i wanted to show you this i really like this old alaskan number plate that looks we got the one with the bear this one looks really nice i've not seen one of these before Right, so this is the Alaskan flag song apparently. I am not going to sing it. If you'd like to know what it is, you can read it for yourself. Now we're further up and we can show you a bit better. In the summer, this is full of spawning salmon as they're going up from the ocean. As you can see, there's a big like copper salmon over there. So yeah, not here at the moment. I can't see any. But uh, I've seen videos online where there's just loads of them. And it's such a shame, but it's a reason to come back. I'm keeping a close eye on Kev while we're around here. He disappears into dollies. You're okay. I'll, just, I'll be in the gift shop, Kev. <laughs> I'm, I'm only joking. So there is a, a salmon shop here that sells like the dried salmon, the tinned salmons, and the vacuum pack smoked salmon. You can go in. It says they, they do offer free tasters. It is full. That's probably why but they do ship fresh and frozen salmon. So uh, if you're interested in buying a bulk load of it, maybe pop in one of these. So at the end, you can it's carry it's on up. It's, it's like a, a walking trail up that way. But, oh, there's even a big m mule. This would be like one of the best spots to watch the salmon coming up. Cause you could get a good shot of me and then you could see him like jumping up the, uh, the rapids. We're calling them rapids. So just imagine, not this big, smaller version of this, jumping up there in the thousands. Right, so that's it, we're at the other end of Creek Street now. There's another exit, you haven't got to turn back and fight everybody. But uh, yeah, it was just an interesting look at what the old prospectors and all them people used to spend the, the money on. There was a sign somewhere, but it was really busy and we just walked past it quick and it said, Creek Street, where fish come once and men keep coming back. 
So we did boot the lumberjack show. Uh, we're just waiting now uh, for the one o'clock. So yeah, it costs like eighty dollars for the two of us. It's worth, gonna be worth it, I'm sure. And we booked it about uh, an hour before, and there's still spaces left. Yeah. So if you do like us, think I'm not gonna do it, and then decide on the day. There should be spaces. Yeah, you'll be fine because there's free ships in at the moment, so there's a lot of people here as well. Right, so we're just walking in now. There is a, a little food stand here. There's popcorn and drinks and snacks. Yeah, so this is the stage now. So this is where they do like the log rolling. Must be chainsawing and stuff like that. And that's where they run up. The Southeast Alaska one was named the Spruce Mill Camp. And this is the original site of that camp. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, that was I'm great. so glad we've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really so glad we went to watch it. Recommend that. Yeah, it was loads of fun. And this guy got to have a go at axe throwing and you won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really good at it, you? No, it's. As you see, seeing as you've never done it before, like back in Stoke on Chant, we axe throw all the time. Uh, we yeah, don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did get a prize. Yes. In a minute. <laughs> I'm going to take this home now. That's your souvenir, this yeah. Lovely big chunk of uh, wood here. Yeah, so oh, I'm gonna- it stinks. I'm gonna put this in a suitcase and <laughs> take it home. No, we're only kidding. There's a section behind the back of the show where all the all the wood that they're chopping and that throughout the show, um, I'll, put, I'll pan over it, I've just put, got a shot of it. Um, they put all the mm. wood there, so and it's free for you to take. So obviously, if you live in the area and you want to use the wood, you can take it. So that's good, it doesn't go to waste. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's that wood stinks. Yeah, I've I'm just touching it on me 
on me well, scarf you now. Well, past my face then, it's smelt. Oh. Okay, if you've done it before, you can get used to it. For the first time, it's, it's like a lot harder than it looks. He's like, weak hand, strong hand, point your nose at the target and then release it high, but not too high. You have to throw it so hard. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. I'd worry about um, throwing it in the back of my head. Like, well, there was a there was a point at the back, and it was duct taped off. Oh, so, was he? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you couldn't. Oh, yeah. I was going to say I'd worry up. about splitting my head open. Yeah. I want to go now. <laughs> Can we watch it again? Next door to the uh, lumberjack show is the Alaskan Fish House. We thought we can't come all the way to Alaska without getting some local fish, so we had the Alaskan sampler, which comes with uh, panko fried salmon, cod, and halibut. Now I'll know the salmon because it's going to be pink, but we're not sure on the other two, so uh, they're going to be hit and miss. But I mean. You get three good sized pieces of fish, quite a few chips actually, and some coleslaw, and this was $24. That so. coating looks delicious. Uh, 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 I've never had deep fried salmon before. We don't really get that back home. It's normally always cod or haddock. It's nice, it's different. The salmon's nice and juicy. Mmm. Oh yeah, you can see the, like the, the flaky fish inside. Oh, and you can't go wrong with panko breadcrumb bread crumb, bread crumbs, but um, the fries as well. I think he said they were mesquite fries. They're like, um, you know, Burger King fries where they get that coating on and they're really crispy. They're really nice. Right, so one's halibut, one's cod. Like I'm, say, we're not sure which one's which. I'm gonna say the thinner one's cod. Yes, I'm gonna say the smaller one's yeah, probably halibut because that that's think? more expensive. Right, okay. Do oh, you think the that one's? No, the smaller one. That one, yes. it's fatter though. Yeah, I know. You try to try the. I think that's cod. So try that because you'll right, know okay. what cod is. That's a re oh, that bread crumb. Yeah, it's really nice. That's so nice. Yeah, I would definitely say that's cod. Mm. Oh, it's like, like so fresh. So yeah, I'm definitely going with cod for that one. Look at that though. So halibut is a white fish as well. Then I didn't know yes. what Kev said. If you don't know what a halibut is, back in the UK, it's like a very very large place. It's a very large flat fish mm. with the like the the eyes, both on, eyes on top of its head, it, but they're huge. Yeah, so it's got a, I'd say it's got a similar taste to cod. It's not a very overfishy fish, is it? It's not got like an overfishy taste. No, because it's not like an oily fish, like a salmon or a trout. No, it's just definitely a lot more denser, a lot more flaky. But again, very fresh and absolutely delicious, both in the breadcrumb, panko breadcrumb. Once again, it was $24, but you do get a mountain of fries, a big pot of coleslaw. And I'm guessing is that tartar sauce, we, we're struggling because it's raining and we're hiding under a tree. So there is a few sitting restaurants in Ketchikan here, but we didn't want a full on meal each in a restaurant. But with that option there that we just had, you can eat in or take away. And there's not many places, does it? across the waterfront there's a few little huts that do like shrimp and chowder that place does do chowder but as we were in line they came out and said that we've run out yeah so they did a smoked, ran out, yeah. smoked salmon chowder mm. which was shame because i was tempted to get the little yeah. the little cup of it but never mind oh well got this instead right so we're all finished up now in ketchikan had an absolute brilliant day yeah. it's a really really nice place just like the quirky buildings and things like that yeah recommend the lumberjack show as well yeah seeing as we weren't doing it and then you know this morning we were like no we're not gonna bother do it well we ended up doing it and we highly recommend definitely and stick your arm up as soon as you can if you want to go <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah mr axe are you? out of uh, ketchikan sitka and juno the ports that we've done this is the one where there's most things here if yes. you didn't do one of the tours there's still plenty of tours if you want to do them mm -hmm. but there's plenty to look around here with as well yeah yeah, yeah i was thinking the same thing it's, yeah it's, it's the more let's say not picturesque for scenery because it's been very cloudy today so we've not seen many mountains yeah but like the more picturesque town of the ones yeah i mean i would like to come back here and see the salmon spawning who knows maybe one day fingers crossed wonderful place it's great it's on almost all the cruises i believe yeah. So you, you're most likely to come here if you are on a cruise. But yeah, as always, leave us a comment, mm -hmm. give us a like and a subscribe while you're at it as well, because you might as well, because you're down there fiddling about anyway. So uh, before this bus comes and it gets very loud, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.